Investigators in Versailles say around 4 this morning, a man went into this home on Douglas Avenue, took a knife from a drawer in the kitchen, went upstairs, and stabbed Logan Tipton repeatedly in the head while the little boy slept. Police say he attacked two other children and the children's father, but the father was able to stop him and hold him until police arrived. That man, 32-year-old Glow Examples, a registered nurse from Indianapolis. Police say he confessed to doing it. Police think he's a total stranger to the family and was just passing through Versailles. They say it is still not clear why he picked this particular home. It's just unreal. I just, I can't believe. And to hurt a kid. I, I mean, to 
somebody that's innocent and didn't have anything to do, did nothing to you, owed you nothing, you know, and for you, you know, to hurt them. You know, I, I just don't understand that. He was always so friendly. He was outgoing. He had a lot of friends. Uh, he was just a, one of those kids that you that you love being around. And so, um, uh, you know, you could tell that that uh, he was a, he was a special little boy. Exantis was in court today in a bulletproof vest under tight security. A public defender was appointed for him. She said he he might be schizophrenic. His bond was set at a million dollars. Hundreds sang and prayed at a vigil tonight in Brazil's for little Logan Tipton. Friends were there, but the grief wasn't confined to people who knew the little boy. I felt really good singing for the family, but at the same time, I heard as well, even though I didn't know the child, that that could have been my brother or that could have been someone closer to me. Fundraisers are underway on the family's behalf. We have the details on our website, WTBQ.com. In other news, Lexington police are looking for connections after four armed robberies at convenience stores just within the last few weeks. Police say a masked man with a gun robbed this marathon station on North Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard around 10.30 last night. The clerk told police there was also a lookout. Now that's the same general description from two robberies reported last week. One was at a marathon station on Newtown Pike, the other at Thornton's on South Broadway. And police say they were on Versailles Road last month.